Okay, picking up from last time, so this guard doesn't get alerted when the torch goes out, we'll go to AI, Attributes, Hearing, and set well below average. Now when we run the mission, he doesn't jump out of his chair. Okay, so the next key thing we want to do is add water to our level. So I selected a cylinder brush with six sides in the base. I'm going to drag that onto the level and we'll do eight by eight. And then we'll set the height to four. We can drag that down and we can clone that and do six by six for the inside and we'll set the height to 3.5 for the air in the brush. Now make sure the outside is feel solid and we need to portalize. Now let's fix the textures on that. We can do brick for the outside, brick for the inside and now we just need to clone one more time for the water and we set to fill water. So that's to start the water. Now we need the height three. Let's zoom in a bit, drag down. This will be the water. And when we portalize, we see the water doesn't look like water. What we need to do now is add something called a flow brush right here. So let me drag the flow brush over the water and we see the group property on the flow. So you can sc scroll through the different group numbers and um, each one has uh, properties. So we click edit group and we see flow group one has different settings. So the texture name we need for water is BL. Um, that's going to be blue water. That's all we need for this because the water isn't moving. But if you want moving water, you can change all these properties, change the direction of the water. And if you need help with that, it may be best just to open a level, an existing fan mission or thief mission, and look at the settings to figure out what you want. So now that we have the water set, we'll sleep the AI, toggle the lighting, and check out the water in game. There we go. Okay, so the next important topic in Dramed is readable items. So let's go back into the house and add a book. Let's go to object hierarchy. We can navigate to household, book, and handwritten ledger. So let's drag that onto the screen and we need to adjust the pitch and orientation with bank to position the book properly and we'll drag that onto the table like that okay now that we have a book we need to go to the properties and add book text so let's add a Benny note text and with that, remember that because we're going to create a file called that name. So let's save the mission and navigate back to the fan mission folder under Thief 2 FM's new, which is the fan mission that we're building. And we create a new folder called books. Under this folder, we will make a new text document called Benny Note dot str. Now in that note we simply type page underscore zero and do quotes and we'll just fill in some text here called Benny note. So that's it. Now by default you may have trouble reading this note in Dramat. So what you may need to do is close out of your mission be sure to save it first, reopen Dramed, go back to your fan mission, open the file, and navigate back, 
into the game. Now we can see Benny Note. Okay, so I have some text here saved off to the side that I want to add to this note. I'm going to replace the text with more detail. Go back into the game and now you can see the full notes that we want for the mission. And that's all. Okay, so the next key topic we want to look at is a secret. To do that we'll create a secret in the floor. Let's drag a 2x2 two two brush. Um, let's move it down into the floor. Fix the height to 0.5. This will be a secret down here. Alright, let's um, Let's fill air, let's portalize. You know what, let's fix the texture here. What we can do is make this a wooden floor in this house. That would make more sense. And we need to cover this hole with a door. Let's select one from the object hierarchy. We'll go to terrain like, door, slidey door. And we'll go to a floor panel. So let's create that floor panel. Okay, I have positioned the floor panel over the hole and we want to position it 90 degrees. Go affect the shape, scale, and we'll do 0.2 to make it flat. Now we need to add a switch to open it. So we can go to gizmo, switches, lever. We'll do a torch lever. Create that. Let's go height about um, negative two, and we will adjust the heading and put that on the wall. Now, to make this torch switch control the door, we add a link of control device to the floor panel. And on the floor panel itself, we need to set it to Frob Inert. Everything in Thief that you can highlight and click is called Frobable, or you can Frob it. So to make it to where you cannot interact with it, you set Frob Inert. And finally, to make this an actual secret, we need to set the stats to hidden so when it opens it registers that you found a secret and let's check that out Good. and you cannot click on it next under treasure swag jewelry gemstone we will put some treasure under the floor we can clone it to have two However, when you go into Thief, you can actually get that through the floor. We need to fix that. So let's add a new type of marker under FNORD Marker, um, Trap Trig, Teleport Trap. We can create those under the floor where the gemstones are and move the gemstones away from this area to our blue room. And we add to the teleport trap control device to one gemstone and on the other link add uh, control device the other and on the switch we set control device to the teleport trap now when we go in game 
the gemstones aren't there, so we can't click until the player finds the secret. Okay, to save a little time, I added some airbrushes here. This one is 16 by 17. This one is four by eight on height. This one is also the same size as this one. We're gonna add um, a new brush here, depth 0.5, and we're gonna put it on the side for a new particulus to go in, which is a gate. So let's go to object hierarchy, physical, terrain like, door, slidey, and we'll do a horizontal particulus. What we can do is add that here, make sure it's floor me, and this will go into the wall when we open it. <clears throat> so let's add a switch to control that. Um, switches, levers, uh, up down switch, and add it on the wall. Position it right, 270. Alright, right here, you can add it to the wall. And it's negative two on height. So let's add a link of control device to the gate. And on the gate, we will add a meta property for Avenir, so the player can't open it directly. And we'll test that out. Now I'm going to show how to align a texture. So what we want to do is press Alt-T and add a new door texture to this wall. You see it's not lined up, so what we want is to click Align Norm, Align Brush, and get to Align Extend. Now you see on this wall it's not perfectly set, so what we want to do is kind of shrink this side to fit it right. Uh, and now we have it lined up on the wall. Okay, so the last concept for this video I want to show is brush timing. So I'm going to uh, select this airbrush here, which is time 11. That's when it was put onto the wall. I'll clone it, and you see the time for the new one is 89. So let's adjust the depth to 1.5. We'll do the width at 5, and we'll do the height at 8.5, and we will drag it up a bit, and now we do a fill solid for the border. Now because the timing of this brush comes after the previous one, uh, it overlaps that. So to fix that, we can simply change the timing of this one to 11 and go back to the original airbrush and change the time to 87. And we need to actually make this width five. Uh, let's undo that. We actually need to make the depth 1.5. There we go. And now we will portalize. So now the border of the door comes before the airbrush in time. And we can add a new texture to this border for our entrance. 